think about A every day, B two times per week, C three times per week, or D once per month. Give you guys a second to think about that. And in fact, this is a little bit of a trick question. Um, you guys might or might not be surprised to learn about this, and some of this might be speaking directly to you, but 50% don't even check their AdWords account once per week. 25% haven't done anything in the last 90 days. And that kind of leads us to our next crucial fact that we need to really consider is Account activity is incredibly important in your AdWords account. Uh, just doing any little bit of work is better than nothing. And this really ties into the idea of relevancy, keeping your account fresh and relevant to the current language that people are typing into Google every single day. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about quality score and how all this kind of ties into the actual cost you're paying for clicks and acquisitions and all that good stuff. But it's really, really important to note that you need to be logging into the account every week and uh, doing some fine tweaks, some fine changes to make sure that um, your bids are appropriate for the current marketplace and that you're actually bidding on the appropriate keywords and negative keywords um, and e editing those ad text copy. And it sounds like based on our poll question that about 31 of you, 31% uh, of you guys, or I guess you guys are spending 31% of your time really focused on this. So that's good to hear. And uh, kind of wrapping up some trivia questions, what percentage of AdWords account have at least one negative keyword in the last 90 days. And, and Elliot just talked a lot about account activity and logging into accounts. Now, we notice that a lot of people don't log in, but when you do log in, are you doing the right work, like adding negative keywords? Um, we A, 0%, uh, B, less than 25%, C, more than 25%, but less than 50%, D, more than 50%, less than 100%, or E, 100%. The answer is C, more than 25%, less than 50%. And the real shocking thing that, that we found going through this is that 20% of accounts have never used a negative keyword. This is really harming not only budget, but the relevancy to the searchers' queries, the wasted spend, and making sure that we're able to reallocate that. To focus on relevancy, we need to be logging in, and it looks like 31% of you responded that you are doing this, to identify long tail keywords, uh, very specific searches to uh, convert at a very high rate. But more importantly, we need to combat that with negative keywords. Google gets billions of searches every single day, 20% um, of which are completely unique. More often than not, there's a trickle down to your account. We want to make sure that we're identifying not only new opportunities, but any wasted spend that might be coming up. So you guys might be asking, you know, how do we know this? Where do we get this data? Where do we learn all this information? And a lot of it actually came from a pretty cool tool that we have. It's completely free. You guys can check it out. It's called our WordStream Free AdWords Performance Grader. Uh, essentially, it's an instantaneous online audit of your account. It gives you a great snapshot of how your account stacks up against other accounts that are in a similar industry spending roughly the similar amounts of uh, spend in AdWords every single month. We're trying to compare apples to apples here. Uh, it's been a great tool for all of our fan base and people that have been following us because they get great insights into their AdWords account. Um, and it typically uh, shows you what you're doing well and what you're not doing so well. And it, it encourages you to get in there and take some action. Again, it's all about getting in there, making sure that your account is relevant to the current language that people are searching on Google today. Um, and what that's been able to do is it's actually given us a lot of good insights across industry. Uh, believe it or not, we've actually graded over $3 billion in ad spend uh, since we've been running that, that tool. And uh, we've been able to develop some deep insights into the secret of PPC success, and that's kind of where we uh, found a lot of the information for this webinar. One in four accounts have zero negative keywords. Zach just talked about that. We're going to talk about how that's going to impact the cost of your account and what you're doing and uh, the results you're seeing over uh, you know month over month, 50% of accounts have been optimized in the last 30 days, and 25 in the last three months. And then all this really relates to low quality score and how that really uh, wreaks havoc on your campaigns, your performance, and most importantly, your cost for every single click out there. What we've really noticed, and obviously we're trying to point this out, is that uh, a lot of small businesses and medium businesses, AdWords accounts are train wrecks now. Most of this happens in the initial launch. Uh, campaigns get launched. They're not looked after on a daily or weekly basis. 
Um, and there's a huge trickle-down effect, and it kind of snowballs into uh, low quality scores, uh, low return on investment. And we need to be going in making sure that we are adding in those negatives, identifying new relevant terms. Five things we know to be true about achieving AdWords success, and, and after analyzing all those accounts, we've really done quite a bit of research on this to really hone in on how we can help small businesses and, and how you guys can get the best results possible from PPC. Things that we've really learned, uh, PPC is hard. Um, Google AdWords, their interface is not really built to uh, bring to your attention negative keywords or make it easy for you to take action. Now, while a lot of you are, are logging in you know, less than an hour a week or, or a couple times a week, um, are you taking the right actions on the account? And that's what we need to focus our efforts on in key areas that can improve our return on investment. You, you get what you put in. We've definitely seen this time and time again. Um, if people just kind of log in and poke around and just look at the account but don't take any action, you're not going to get much out of it. You need to go in there. You need to do some serious work, look at um, what's performing well, what's not performing well, uh, and uh, really start bidding on the areas that are working, setting new keywords that are working for you, setting negative keywords. If you're not logging in and taking action, your account's going to get stale. Um, I hope you guys are starting to get the sense that we're really kind of preaching on this action thing. If you put in the work, your account's going to be much more successful. Uh, that's really the point we're trying to make here. Number three, keep your, uh, keep your house clean. PPC is, is an ever-changing and evolving uh, channel of, of marketing and, and searches change. People search different things, uh, language changes. We need to be identifying keywords that are working for us, um, keywords that have either dropped off and are not return, providing a return on investment. Pause, um, identify things that they are matching to through our search query data and identify longer tail keywords that our customers are now searching to maximize our return on investment. You gotta have goals. We talk to people every single day that don't have goals and they're kind of just walking through the dark with no flashlight, don't know where they're going, don't know what's up, you know, what's up or down or left or right. Uh, it's so important to stop for a minute, think about what you're trying to achieve. How many calls did you get last month? How many calls do you need to be getting? You know, what cost for acquisition did you get last month? What cost, cost for acquisition would you like to be getting? Set some goals for yourself, um, whether it's the number of clicks, number of conversions, whether it's the number of times you're logging in on a weekly basis and setting new keywords and negative keywords. But you need to have goals to keep you on track. Um, as Zach showed you earlier, that train wreck, a lot of people get off track and next thing you know their account's kind of a disaster. The so goals will help guide you through this process and keep you on track. So go ahead and set yourself some goals. And goals can be as easy as uh, I'm going to log into my account for two hours every week or I'm going to work on managing bids and identifying the best return on investment for each individual project. Um, but there needs to be goals set for an account level, campaign level, and an ad group level strategy. I mean, Zach, Zach does bring up a really good point. We now know, like, and the reason we're showing a lot of this information and sharing a lot of this information with you guys is to know what are the common problems that are really dragging down accounts that we've seen after we've graded $3 billion worth of spend. And a lot has to do with account activity. So go ahead and set yourself some goals so you can really address those areas. Last thing, guys, succeeding with PPC is all about relevance. Um, Google built a, a great business and really set themselves apart in, uh, in the search game just by having a system that works really well for everybody involved, uh, but most importantly, the searcher, someone that's going to Google to look for a product, right? A lot of buying intent on the search network. We need to make sure that we are identifying that, identifying really long tail keywords that are going to be high converting, have a lot of high buying intent, focus our ad tech to those keywords and what our customers are looking for. And lastly, sending them to a landing page that moves them farther down the funnel. Uh, by doing those three things, you're going to really improve click-through rate. Um, quality score is going to go through the roof. Obviously, Google doesn't get paid unless you guys get a click, so they want to make sure that people are uh, getting clicks and, and relevant clicks and keeping their customers happy. And, and lastly, if you're sending them to that relevant landing page, they're going to be far enough down the funnel where they're going to be uh, purchasing or filling out a contact form to get you guys the leads that you need to generate a good return on ad spend. Um, so looking at this and talking about relevance, if we want to go into a quick pie chart about, about quality score, how is it calculated? Well, it's really focused on those factors there. So when someone goes to Google and types in a search for men's leather shoes size 9, you're going to see two ads show up here at the very top. Both of them are incredibly relevant and focused to the actual search query. 
um, you'll see Zappos in the number one spot, size nine men's shoes. So Google does an analysis of this and identifies that Zappos is bidding on size nine men's shoes. They have an ad that speaks directly back to the query. Um, their ad's very relevant, but more importantly, they've built a lot of rapport with Google and have generated a great click-through rate on this term, putting them in the number one spot. By working through our data and identifying this opportunity and targeting it more directly, you're going to increase your click-through rate, you're going to improve your quality score, which lowers your cost per click, and allows you to get a better return on ad spend. One thing to kind of tie this back to the, the previous chart, quality score is really a measure of how relevant your account is or an ad group, keyword, ad text copy. Uh, it's really important to keep an eye on this metric because uh, if your account starts to slip, if you're not relevant, if you're not going in there and making sure that you're relevant to the current searches and languages that people are typing in today, not two years ago, your quality score is going to slip. And this is where it ties back into the true cost of AdWords. You need to have a high quality score or your cost per click is going to go up, which is really going to spin your budget a little bit quicker than you anticipated. And it really comes down to account activity and relevancy. And combating uh, any bad searches with negative keywords as well, right? If we're getting a lot of searches um, for, for keywords that are not relevant to our business, we might be showing up a whole bunch on the, on the search engine results page, but we're not going to be generating the clicks. The customer knows whether or not you're relevant to the product they're looking for, and you want to make sure that you're showing up in front of the right folks and, and getting those clicks and, more importantly, getting the business from them. So what can you guys do? That's, that's a question. How to reduce and reallocate wasted spend in 20 minutes per week? Well, WordStream has looked at this. We, we've, we've analyzed a lot of accounts. We've dug in deep. And what we've tried to do is we've tried to create some sort of tools and processes and workflow to help, help account managers that are definitely busy, have a lot going on, identify some of these common mistakes um, quickly, easily, and effective, effectively to address the relevancy concern so you can improve your quality score and drive down that cost per click, really saving you guys money and getting the best bang for your buck. Um, in a nutshell, uh, our 20-minute PPC work week is an automated alert system that helps walk you through this process on a weekly basis. It's automated um, and very actionable. It's going to look at your account every single week. It's going to find opportunity in your account, and it's going to pull up that opportunity, present it to you front and center every Monday. All you simply have to do is walk through this tool approve or reject the recommendations, and then get on with running your business or moving on to the next account, depending on where, where you are. So let's take a deep dive into the 20-minute work week, show you how some of these tools or how this tool can help you find some of these mis common or mistakes that people make, dig in deep, and really take action. Um, as you can see, Chris has kind of blown up a screenshot of this tool. First thing that we see in our, in our alert system is uh, negative keywords. The whole idea here is to Analyze your account, find opportunity to set negative keywords. We focus on negative keywords because this impacts the relevancy of, uh, of your account and how it's showing up for search queries. Um, this is going to help you improve the relevancy, which will also, also help you improve the quality score of your account and the click-through rate of your account. This also impacts the cost to your AdWords account. If you're showing up for bad clicks, bad impressions, we want to identify that and set that as a negative keyword so you're not wasting money where you don't need or for unqualified clicks. The next is bids. Are you managing your bids? Um, poll, number, poll question number two, there was actually a, a selection on there that bids, but it didn't make the cut. So it doesn't sound like a lot of people are going in and managing bids. The key to managing bids is making sure that you're allocating your budget to the areas that are working for you and pulling it back from the areas that aren't working for you. And when we talk about setting goals, there can be a lot of goals that, that you can set to focus your efforts on bids. Um, if there's a product line that you guys are making high margins on or, or leads are converting at a very high rate, you might be willing to pay a little bit more. But at the same time, you might want to identify opportunity to pull back bids a little bit so that you're not overspending for any sales or, or leads that you're trying to generate. Um, so that, that, that can be a good starting point for goals and can actually help you reallocate a lot of budget and target in areas that are profitable for you guys. Keeping along with the relevancy theme and keeping your account fresh, adding new keywords. Uh, what we're doing here is we're, we're scanning th this particular account, looking through the search query, and trying to find search queries that are triggering um, the ads to show that have great click-through rates, but this particular account's not bidding on. The idea behind this is to go ahead and bid on it, tell Google that you're relevant for it, and uh, you want to show up next time around because it's a product and service you actually offer. 
it's a great way to keep fresh, keep your account up to date with the current language that's working well for you guys. Ad text optimization. Sounds like uh, this was uh, another area that a lot of people spend some time on in our poll question number two. Um, this is such a critical component of your account. You need to be making sure that your account, your ad copy is relevant for the way people are searching. Um, this is another great goal that you can set for yourself. Make sure that you're editing your ad copy at least two or three ad copies a week to make sure that that makes sense for how people are actually uh, finding and, and, and getting that first impression of your account. And then finally, reviewing costly keywords. This is, a, this is a big one when it really comes down to what is the real cost of AdWords. I think a lot of people don't really realize that one or two particular keywords can get out of control and they can really eat up a lot of your budget quicker than people expect. Uh, what this alert system is essentially doing is it's taking a look at every single keyword in the account and saying, hey, is this above average uh, than what the average cost or actually average click, cost per click across the account? If it is, it's just bringing it to your attention. And it's saying, hey, take a look at this. Is it worth spending this much money on every single week? Uh, if not, you might want to either think about pausing it or reducing the budget or going in there and really trying to improve the quality score if it's got a really low quality score. All of that really works together to, uh, to improve relevancy. Now, you know, the 20-minute work week is an awesome tool. When we talk about people logging in to take action on their accounts, and, and what we find when we talk to a lot of folks, and Elliot and I talk to, you know, hundreds a month and do demonstrations and, and show them how we can help, uh, we find that people just don't know what kind of actions to take on an account. And, and by bringing that to your attention on a weekly basis, you, you're confident in your ability. Um, you're really empowered to take action on the account, improve the relevancy, improve your potential customer's experience, and generate a lot more business and a lot, more, uh, a lot higher return on ad spend. A couple keys uh, to success for relevancy is you want to be creating some landing pages. Um, I know you guys at the beginning said uh, landing pages sucks up a lot of your time. Uh, landing pages is absolutely vital to the very end of that PPC sales funnel. Right, that's the last, uh, I guess, experience that customer is going to be having. They're going to search for Google. They're going to find your ad, click on it. Then you got to make sure that they're landing on a page that is relevant uh, and speaks directly to their needs. That's the best way to turn a click into a conversion. Keys to success, know how you're performing. We've, we talked about goal setting and, and targeting specific areas to take action on. We want to make sure that we're really focusing our efforts month over month on specific areas that we can improve. Um, whether you're using a report on your, on your own or have a tool like, uh, like a WordStream success report to look at on, uh, on a monthly basis, you want to set metrics, you want to know your metrics, and you want to find areas of opportunity to continue advancing the account in the right direction improving your, your ROI and, and making yourself super profitable with AdWords. So to kind of summarize what we've kind of we've, what we've gone over this past 30 or 40 minutes, um, most advertisers AdWords accounts are a train wreck. We see it every day, we, we speak to it, we actually hear it in people's voices when they give us a call. Um, what you want to be doing is review the five habits of the successful PPC marketers. Um, quality score is incredibly important to the account. It's going to drive down your cost per click going to get you more impressions and your accounts, uh, your ads are going to show up more often. Uh, think of PPC campaigns work as a recruiting weekly task. That's a huge one. Uh, this is not a set it up and forget it kind of thing. It's something you have to constantly log in week after week, spend time massaging this, making sure that um, your PPC house is in order and that you're fresh and relevant to the way people are searching. Um, we have some tools here at WordStream to help enable people or help people attack the kind of five common mistakes that we've seen. If uh, any one of those has really resonated with you or if you've always struggled to um, tackle those tasks, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. Um, and reporting and landing pages and lead tracking is a crucial key to successful PPC uh, accounts. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, we kind of sped through that presentation, made it nice and quick for you guys today, but we definitely wanted to save some time for Q&A here. Um, thanks, everyone, for all the questions that you've been sending in. I appreciate it. Um, so I just put up a, a, a poll question there um, for our special offers today. So we have a free live demo of WordStream's 20-minute PPC work week. Um, so guys, do you want to kind of talk about what that offer is? Or? Yeah, so um, like I mentioned earlier in the, in the webinar here, Ellie and I, um, 
on demos a lot. We look at a lot of accounts. We've learned from a lot of folks' mistakes and can provide a lot of great insight into areas of concern and, and maybe some goals that you guys can set and, and show you how the tool can help, but more importantly, give you a good consultation on how your account can improve over the course of the next month or two just by tweaking a, a couple strategies. Um, the other offer, a free one-on-one -on -one AdWords grader walkthrough, um, highly recommend going in and running our free AdWords performance grader. Going to give you guys a lot of great insight into your account. Um, more, more importantly, you'll, you'll be able to identify a couple areas of concern and uh, really hone in on some areas you can take action on to improve the account. If, uh, if any of the topics or slides that we, we discussed today kind of resonate with you, but you're kind of thinking to yourself, well, what do I do next? I mean, that definitely speaks to me, and I'm having trouble with that. Uh, it, it, you should go ahead and give us a call or you know, shoot us an email. Our, our phone numbers and email address will be at the end of this. And, and we'll be able to help uh, kind of develop a, a strategic plan to help you guys go from what do I do next to having a consistent workflow that you can um, consistently manage week after week after week to really improve the performance of the account. Awesome. Well, we'll get right into Q&A right now. I left the poll question up for everyone to, um, to select an offer there. Um, I also sent the greater link in the chat box, so if you'd like to check out, um, definitely advise you to go and check out that AdWords performance greater. Um, so to get right into questions here, uh, so someone asked, how much does a small to medium-sized business spend on a PPC, um, on their PPC per month to get the best return? I'll, I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, it really varies on the market and uh, your products and services. Um, we see accounts that spend anywhere from $800 to $50,000. Um, it, so you have to take a look at the marketplace, see what the average cost per clicks are, um, and then you want to take uh, into consideration your the cost of the products you're selling. You definitely don't want to be spending more on a cost per acquisition than the, what the product's worth. So there's a lot of variables in there. There's no real average. Um, that would be more of a, a, a kind of a one-on-one -on -one answer where we'd want to look at your website, look at the products you're, you're selling, and maybe jump into your AdWords account if you have one running and see kind of what his historical trends there are. Yeah, and also you, you got to think about business capacity, and it, this can be really successful. And um, for instance, if there's a plumber that can only handle so many calls, you need to be aware of that. The last thing you want to do, and, and it's a good problem to have, but you want to make sure that you're you're advertising in a way that's making you profitable, and you're able to capitalize on the business that's coming in. Great. Um, so one one of the attendees actually asked, "Can you use WordStream um, for agencies?" Absolutely. Uh, we have numerous tools that are kind of focused on business owners and one-man shows, uh, and also we have a lot of efficiency tools that agencies like to use, so most definitely. Um, so you guys talked a lot about um, keywords and, and how important it is to um, do keyword research and add negative keywords to your account. So what's the easiest way to evaluate the performance of a keyword? So how long should you give it before you say, that's a bad keyword, I should remove that out of my account, that's, that's hurting my account? How long should you, you know, take to evaluate that? That's a, that's a good question. Um, it, it depends on the volume of traffic that comes to your account. I think it's more of a, a percentage volume on that actual keyword. For, for instance, if, if your average keywords are getting 100 impressions a month with a 5% a click-through rate and you have one keyword that's getting 80 impressions with, with no clicks, we want to keep an eye on that and make sure that we're not uh, driving irrelevant traffic through that term or overspending on a specific term that, that is not relevant or, or profit, profitable for us. Yeah, I think Zach, Zach brings up some good points. I think there's also two ways to look at this question. Is this a, an account that has been running for a long time and has a lot of historical data? Then definitely go with, uh, with what Zach said. That's absolutely spot on. But if this is a brand new account, you're just going to have to throw a lot of stuff on the wall and see what sticks. So it might take a little bit of time to see what's working, what's not working, and then you can start to peel away some stuff. So it, it also, you've got to consider where are you in the life of the account. If it's brand new, well, we might need to see what works, um, and if it's been around for a while, then you can really start to dig in there and, and, and look at averages and click through rates and stuff like that. Awesome. A uh, question we have here is how much of a factor is click through rate, rate and quality score? It's the, the number one, it's the largest factor in it. Um, the way I like to look at click through rate is um, Google really cares about the customer experience. And when I say customer, it's the, the searchers, the people going online, searching for products, services, whatever they search for on Google.com. Whenever those people click on your ads, Google values that as a vote. They're essentially voting for your ad over every other ad that showed up on that search result page. So it has a huge impact to the quality score of your account. It's the most important factor. 
Yeah, and to, to piggyback off that, I mean, they, they look a lot into to all the factors. That one is the most valued. Again, they, they want to give a great experience. They want to make sure that when they end up on your, your site that they're having a good experience there as well, so they do look at bounce rate. But click-through rate is going to be something that if you really focus your efforts on improving those text ads, identifying the best keywords that are uh, generating a high click-through rate, you're going to see a, an improvement in your quality score and an improvement in the performance. Great. Another question we have here is, um, what would your guys' suggestion be for someone who, um, so they're, they're, they have a B2B company, um, and a lot of their search terms are long tail keywords. Um, they're not, it's not as, as focused, they can't, it's not like B2C where they can use a, a couple terms, like, you know, the men's leather shoes has that and use those specific terms to, um, are there any tips or way to manage those long tail keywords? Any, any suggestions that you guys would have for, like, a B2B uh, company? Um, it's, it's, Yes, we do have suggestions. It's a little tough without kind of seeing specifics and knowing exactly what kind of keywords we're dealing with and how many keywords and sizes. But what you want to do is you want to group everything into pretty tight-knit, relevant ad groups. Um, 10, 15 keywords. Even You can even do 10 or 15 long-tail keywords within one ad group and have one ad copy that specifically talks about that, um, that search query, that keyword, that specific idea, and try to get as specific and relevant as possible. Yeah, working with a lot of, uh, of B2B folks, it is difficult because you, you drive a lot of that B2C traffic. Um, best way to combat that is, is start with a structure like Elliot mentioned, tightly knit ad groups, uh, really focused ad text. Uh, more importantly, keep a, a close eye on your uh, search query data. You're going to find a ton of opportunity. OrgStream has a great tool called QueryStream. We actually bring some of these to your attention in the 20-minute work week as well. Um, but you really want to spend a lot of time in there identifying not only one word negative keywords that shows buying intent as a, as a B2C customer, but also uh, longer tail keywords. You can find some gold in there uh, that will allow you to drive a lot of really relevant traffic at a high converting, uh, a high rate of conversions and, and really provide a good return on ad spend. And you'll definitely want to think about your match type strategy with those longer tail keywords. Um, you typically want to be a little bit more focused, uh, leaning towards the, the phrase exact scale. Uh, because you have so many variables in there that Google could match to. So if you have a lot of long-tail keywords that are just set on broad, you might want to take a look at that. Great. Um, now, you guys were talking about um, setting up goals. Um, how often should someone do reporting if that was a new goal for somebody to do? Like, how often on a weekly basis should someone spend doing reporting? Definitely monthly. You want to look at it month over month, um, but it all depends on that individual person, the account, and the business. Um, as a business owner, when you're probably wearing 15 hats and got a business to run, um, you might need to just do it, you know, once a month. If it, and if the average account's performing well, uh, the report, a monthly report's fine. Now you definitely want to be checking in the account every single week, um, you know, checking the stats and, and getting in there, you know, multiple times a week. But in terms of like reporting specific, you might only need to do it monthly. Um, if it's a larger, massive enterprise account. Uh, you might want to think about doing it weekly. So this, this, it all depends. Yeah, and, and keeping an eye and, and maybe setting up a tracking sheet for those larger accounts where you're actually keeping an eye on trends day over day can, can be helpful. Um, for, the, for the average small business account, I think the big focus is going to be monthly. Um, goals should change on a monthly or, or every other month um, as long as you're heading in the right direction. If you can fix one goal, there's usually going to be a pretty interesting trickle-down effect that starts fixing a couple other ones, and then you can kind of build on that work. Great. Um, so I think we have time for, for one last question here. Um, and we, get, we actually get this question a lot. Um, so is it best, best to set your, um, your negative keywords as broad, um, phrase, or exact? It's a good question. We hear it a lot on, on demos um, when we're doing those. And, and it really depends on the negative itself. Um, if it's a one-word term, in most cases, you're OK with broad. Two-word terms, you, you might want to go with phrase. Um, and depending on the level of the negative from a, an ad group campaign or account level, it's important to identify how strategic you, you want to get with those negative keywords to ensure that the right ads are showing up in the right areas. Great. Well, thank you, Elliot and Zach, for presenting today. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, again, if you want to run that AdWords performance grader, you can go to wordstream.com slash google-adwords. And if you have any specific questions, you can contact Zach and Elliot direct. I put their phone numbers up on the screen there. Um, and thank you again for joining us today. I really appreciate it, and we hope to see you at the next event. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for attending, guys. Zach and I had a 
great time, and uh, good luck out there. Yeah, feel free to reach out to us uh, if you want to break down those phone numbers. We'll be happy to help you guys out and answer any additional questions or run through a quick consultation with you. Yep, and I know we went through this quickly, so I will be sending out um, slides and a recording of this um, probably tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that as well. And thanks again, guys. Have a great day.